Hello, I'm John Perry, Technical Project Manager with IPC, here with this week's IPC Technical Question of the Week. What we're going to be talking about this week is understanding the relationship between IPC 6012 and IPC A600. There are many people out there in the industry who are familiar with uh, using IPC A600 as the document to call out on the printed board documentation for manufactured printed boards. So oftentimes people will see wording that says, Printed boards shall be fabricated in accordance with IPC A600. And what we're going to learn today is how this is really an incorrect way in calling out IPC standards for the fabrication and acceptance of printed boards and how the correct references with IPC 6012, uh, which is our qualification and performance specification for rigid printed boards. And this really shouldn't be much of a surprise. After all, IPC A600 was released in July of 1964 three years before the very first Apollo mission, uh, and consequently IPC 6012 and its predecessor, RB276, didn't really come out onto the scene until the early to mid-1990s. So uh, it's a common misconception out there. What we're going to do here is look at the structure between IPC 6010 series and IPC A600. And really where we're going to start with is IPC 6011. This is a very generic printed board specification. You won't find within it any actual end product requirements for printed boards, such as tolerances on thickness and bow and twist. Really, this is a document that explains how a customer, such as an OEM, and a supplier, such as a printed board fabricator, would come to utilize the IPC specs for the procurement of printed boards. So going down from this base generic document, we go down and we see there's 6012 for rigid, 6013 for flex, 6015 for multi-chip module, and so on and so forth for high density interconnect, embedded passives, and high speed, high frequency. What we're really going to focus on today is how IP6012 for rigid boards and IPC6013 for flex are really the primary documents from which the requirements in IPC A600 are provided. Uh, 6012 and 6013 provide the actual acceptance criteria, whereas A600 simply provides a, a visual interpretation of those requirements, showing examples of both acceptable and rejectable uh, versions of those uh, requirements. And just to give a little bit of a background, where we're really starting with is at the design level, and IPC has two primary printed board design standards, IPC 2221A, plus IPC 2222 for rigid printed boards. Uh, so the, th this then carries on to IPC 6012B, which basically takes the uh, corresponding design rules that were established in 2221 and 2222 and provides the actual manufacturing minimums once the printed board has been fabricated. And then finally, this goes to IPC A600. And what IPC A600 really does is it provides visual acceptance support for the, printish, the finished printed board product based on the requirements in 6012. What we're going to examine is the uh, order of precedence for these documents. If one reviews section 1.5 of the current IPC A600 Reg G, they'll find an order of precedence for uh, procurement documentation. And really this starts with the number one, the procurement documentation, followed eventually by the uh, end item performance specification, such as IPC 6012 in the case of rigid printed boards, or IPC 6013 in the case of flex boards. And below that is the actual IPC A600. So what we see is that, that the IPC 6010 series establishes the minimum acceptance requirements for printed boards. A600, in turn, is a companion or complementary document providing pictorial interpretation. And one key thing to point out is, and this is stated in Section 1.5 of, of A600, A600 can be used as a support document for inspection, but it does not specify frequency of in-process inspection, nor does it process frequency of end product inspection. That's addressed by Table 4.2 and Table 4.3 and IPC 60.12 and IPC 6013. Without that, if someone simply requires that the boards be manufactured in accordance with A600, there's no backbone in terms of 
testing or evaluation of either production boards within a lot or microsection samples to verify that a, a lot is acceptable. That has to be used within 6012 and therefore the appropriate call out for manufacturer of printed boards, be it rigid or flex, is in accordance with IPC 6012 and or IPC 6013. Thank you.